one owner car guy one owner car guy .com, and I got a windy day here but I've got an absolutely beautiful 1999 Ford Taurus wagon in the SE model I believe and it could be an LX let me get to the back and tell you this thing when I came up on, on auction I was like whoa look at that Taurus woo I went all around it I was like yeehaw and then I got to the other side and when I got to this side I was like Eat it. Then I was like, ah, I don't know, it ain't so bad. You can see the dents. I'm gonna call it a light project. This thing runs great. It's got 107,000. One oh seven original miles on it. It is a two owner. Um, I buy lots of one, two, and three owner cars, and I slap them on for worldwide audiences because things like this just are not that common to see nowadays in the wagon in this kind of miles heck any Taurus with this kind of miles it just ain't happening you don't find it it's a clean car and i'm gonna do everything show you everything if you want to see like 60 70 pictures go to my website it's oneownercarguy.com make sure and subscribe here on youtube i do all kinds of videos every week over 5,000 of them on here and that's the deal first off i'm gonna jump down and show you underneath it looks nice it's clean it doesn't leak all over or nothing it's clean not rusty it is what it is. A little bit of patina on it just from, you know, scraping and parking lots of stuff. I'm going to go around and show you any exterior damage before anything. Um, just absolutely beautiful car. Uh, clean as can be. I've said that three or four times while I'm trying to think of how I'm going to go around this. Sorry about that. Well, let's just go jump right into the fender. A little scuff right here. Light. But you've got this bang in the fender, man. Dent and dent crush and scrape down the door with some ripple in so, junkyard door, junkyard door, junkyard fender. Yeah, if you could find gold, you'd be set. A little bit of squirrely whoop on that. And I'll try before the interior to get some of that off. Um, I thought that was going to be done when we were detailing it, but I guess my guy did not get to that. He asked me about it, and I guess I was expected to come out and do it. And I didn't do it, so that's where we are on it. I'll put something on it and see what I can get off. It's actually clean up probably good. At least halfway on the front. Okay, so obvious that. Other than that, there's a little ka-chink and a ka-chink and a little crease in the hood type of thing. That's about it. Um, nothing that will headlights and lenses and emblems and hood ornaments and whatever you want to call them. Everything's in great shape. Um, the tires, I think you just put them on, man. Look at all that tread. I'm going to call them 85 to 90% tread. They're just nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, up on the roof. And it, this stuff, we just don't get it wiped down sometimes after the, um, the wash. And it's got little marks there. You can see where this is flaking. Just the original paint on here. Um, just age. They all do it. Not all rusted. Some of these get to where... It'll rust around all the screw holes. This has not done that. It's just the flakage of the... It's kind of like a plastic coating type paint or something. But that's the way it is. Just want to be upfront on that. Um, cool roof rack to have. Um, man, lenses and car, just clean as can be. Except for the obvious. It's an SE. Little chippage here. Little scuffs and chippage and stuff like that. Runs great. I'm going to go for a little test drive with this stuff there. Um, clean down the side. I'll tell you what, I don't think this side has a dent in it. I'm sure there is. I just can't see it. Let's see if I can see a little chip there. Scratch it. Let me look down at it again. I don't think there's any. There's got to be a ding I'm missing. Man, it's straight. Look at the wheel wells. All the plastic and everything just in great shape. Whoever kept this car kept this car in great shape and they kept it clean. They maintained it. It runs just awesome. Love the spoilers and stuff on it. And all this stuff's clipped in like it should be. All your plastic little screw pop things are in there. Glass is in good shape. Drew Ford, San Diego Carbot. San Diego Carbot the whole time. They've had it here. Um, Antenna has some kind of an issue. I'm gonna check that out. Um, double, triple pop back trunk. Don't know how exactly it all works. I just know it all works. I'm gonna make sure that all, yeah. <laughs> so, that's the deal. One owner car guy.
one on a car guy.com. This is like an exterior review and a quick walk around. And as you can see, besides that other side, if it wasn't for that, it would be just an absolutely great shape. Somebody's gonna get a great car, and I am gonna go ahead and take you for a test drive and kind of show you how it runs and all that good stuff. A little scuff right here too. I want to show you and a little chip right there. Man, other than that, it's just hard to find anything to complain about. There's lots of people over here now, so. Okay, test drive. Put my camera there. Okay, out and on the road, and I'll tell you what, the air conditioner in this thing is cold as can be. And it ain't exactly a, a chilly day here in San Diego. So to be quite honest, you're gonna have to put up with a little bit of sound because I'm leaving the AC on. A lot of traffic out at this time of day. Man, the upshift, the downshift, it's just so nice. It runs and drives great. I'm gonna go ahead and do this to this drive running. Like I say, it's one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Lots of vehicles on here. So many vehicles. Yes, sir. And on my channel here, you can see about 5,000 videos. Right up to speed limit, just like it should. It's got 107.685 on it. I got to readjust for you. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful day probably can't see that good because I'm not zoomed up. But this thing corners, drives, shift. Let's go, buddy. Just like it should. Actually, like it shouldn't because this wagon is pretty fun to drive, actually. A very peppy, 24 valve V6. Great little cars. These cars are, are you see them all the time with 250, 300,000 miles on them. This one, 107. Yeah. Not that many miles. I'm gonna throw some pictures and different things in on this review. Um, it's an exterior, and I went around the car to show you just anything I can think of to show you on the car. Uh, maybe I'll get out here and show you a different angle. Because I just wanna make sure I'm showing everything. I mean, shh, beautiful, everything about it. It's beautiful, doors open closed, just nice to me. No weird on uh, sounds, AC's cold. This thing is clean. Well, I say that right when I get to that. But like for work or for whatever, not everybody needs a perfect car. And the thing about this car is, this car is cheap. This car I'm not asking all kinds of money for. This car is cheap. Check my website, give me a call on it. It's 406-546-8748. And I got all kinds of unique cars about this type of car and about this type of era and before, you know, like 80s, 90s early 2000s. That's what I do. Okay, we're going to drive this thing back and do it to it. Give me a sec to readjust my um, my camera overheats because it's such a hard thing to do through all the pictures and take the video. So I'm going to do this to this. I'll be back in a second. Alright, back at you. And I'm going to turn the AC down. I actually pop my battery out and put the AC on the battery and the camera. So turn it all the way back up. Man, this is a nice car. I like to keep it just for an office car, just to go back and forth to Costco and stuff. It's so nice, just throwing everything in the wagon. And it's not a truck, so you don't have to, I don't know why I put the blinker on, but they all work. It's not a truck, so you don't have to worry about people stealing stuff out of the back when you leave it somewhere. Just super cool. Wagons are gone, man. There's just no wagons around. And find a classic like this with this kind of miles. If you're looking for one of these, stop it and call me, Nathan, 406-546-8748. I'm telling you, man, this is a nice little car. And do you proud. It's an old car. I'm sure you're going to replace something here or there. And as time rolls on, things go out on them. It's not a brand new under warranty car. I mean, 
alternators and all this kind of stuff. Stuff happens with cars, but this car at this point is just such a great runner. It's just a pleasure to drive. It's a pleasure, absolutely pleasure. I tell you, I tell you. Okay, that's that. That's your exterior review. I can't think of absolutely anything else that I need to tell you about it. Um, I'm gonna get out here and make sure. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to do an interior review tonight, and I'll clip that all together, so you'll be seeing that later. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com